Are you ready? Stand by. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Shooter Make Ready. Today's topic is going to be about slugs. This is for the guys who is stepping from the pellet world over to the slug world or for the guys who's currently shooting slugs as well. Make sure you got your pen and paper ready because this is going to be an informative one. Now without going into too much detail here, let's just have a look at the basic characters of a pellet and a slug. A pellet has a unique shape with a head, a waist and a skirt. The pellet has less bearing surface in a barrel and it does have a lower BC factor. The slugs on the other hand has the same characters as what a bullet does. It is shaped like a bullet and it's also spin stabilized like a bullet. The slug has more bearing surface and it does have a higher BC factor. Now with this being said, Barrel selection is very important when it comes down to slug shooting. Slugs are more barrel sensitive than pellets are. A pellet has a smaller bearing surface and this means they can reshape themselves very easily inside the barrel. Slugs on the other hand can't do this because they have a larger bearing surface, thus making this very difficult for them to reshape themselves inside the barrel. Now I've got a wide variety of guns, but the guns that I do use the most is my FX guns. Now FX has designed certain liners specifically to shoot slugs. Many years back it started with your slug AB liners and it moved all the way till today with the superior range of liners that they've got. For me your slug A and B liners and your current superior heavy liner is the best liners that you can use for shooting slugs. But does this mean that you can't shoot your slugs out of your pellet liner or out of your spear liner? Well, no. You can definitely try. But I can tell you this. Your slug A, B liner and your superior heavy liner has been specifically designed in twist rate and choke to accommodate slug shooting. Now that you know what barrel to use, it's time to get some slugs. But just before you rush out and go get some slugs, there's two factors that you need to consider first. First of all, what power level and caliber restrictions do you have in your country? And number two, what power can your current gun setup provide? So if you have a power restriction inside your country, I will advise you guys to look into 177 slugs. The 177 slugs is lighter and you can then push them much faster. With the 177 slugs, you will still get a better BC factor over the pellets that you currently is shooting. So if there is no restrictions in your country, then I will advise you guys to find out what power levels your current gun setup can provide. If your gun have a low power spec, I will advise checking into a 177 caliber or a 22, or you can even go with a lighter weight slug. Now, if your gun can handle anything from low power all the way up to high power, I will advise you guys to ask yourself a question. What do you want to shoot? Do you want to do target shooting or do you want to do hunting? For target shooting, you're going to need a slug that can deliver accuracy with consistency. Now, those two words are very, very important. And what it means is you want to go out there and shoot accurately consistently group after group and hopefully this picture on the screen here will explain it a little bit better now for hunting you're also going to need a good consistent accurate slug but a big factor that comes into play here is expansion so you're going to want to have a slug with a nice big hollow point plus it needs to expand to the maximum upon impact so now I'm pretty sure a lot of you is going to tell me, well, then I'm going to go out there and buy a slug with a massive hollow point that it's going to give me decent accuracy. 
Well, unfortunately, that's not the way how it works. In all the years that I've been working in the developing of slugs, I can tell you guys today that I've realized that there is a very fine balancing point between expansion and accuracy. And what that balancing point is, well, unfortunately, that's something that I can't share with you because that's a little bit of a trade secret. So now that you know what slug you're gonna select, it's time to speak about the slug tuning on these guns. Now the very first thing that you need to know is a slug needs a certain speed to stabilize and to perform at its best. With shooting maybe over a million slugs already, various brands, various weights, and various calibers, I have found the following factors when it comes down to slug speeds. Smaller caliber slugs, for example, 177 and lightweight 22 caliber slugs can be shot between 700 and 900 feet per second to achieve stable flight, also depending on design. The most forgiving speed zone for a slug to be shot in is anything between 900 feet per second and a thousand feet per second. Shooting higher than a thousand feet per second will cause your slug to destabilize and create a dynamic instability. You will also have a negative influence on your BC number on the slug. Just a little side note here, you can shoot your slugs past a thousand feet per second and achieve stable flight, but you're gonna have to push it way past the transonic zone which means you're gonna to have to push that slugs way past 1,200 feet per second. And let's be honest, our current air guns that we have currently on the market won't allow us to push that slugs that fast yet. So if you tune your gun, there's not really a right way and a wrong way of doing it. The most important thing that you need to get to is the desired speed. Make sure that you get your slug speeds within that perfect range. I will say the safest area is between 900 and 1000 feet per second. The one tip that I can give all the guys out there that is shooting FX rifles, higher rec pressures just works well in these guns for slug shooting. The high rec pressure causes the valve to close faster and with the valve closing faster creates just a better harmony through the gun that definitely, definitely helps with the accuracy on these guns. Now to achieve the best accuracy out of your gun, I will say that speed is one of the biggest factors. But I also know that every single barrel out there is slightly different from one to another. For this reason, most of the slug manufacturers out there offer you a different diameter slugs in each caliber range. I will definitely advise you guys to go out there, buy different diameter slugs for each caliber, and shoot them from your own barrel to see if you can even increase your accuracy even further. Sometimes people do struggle to find good accuracy with a certain slug in a certain barrel. And there's a couple of things you also can check into to resolve this problem. The very first thing that you want to do is change up the speed. Shoot that slug at different speeds and maybe see if you can find a better accuracy node. Now, if you have been shooting certain speeds and you can't find accuracy in that gun with that slug, the next thing that I will advise is maybe to check into your barrel, your slug liner, or maybe change out the slug that you currently are shooting. This can also resolve your problem that you've been having. Now, if you know that the barrel that you've been using is working well and you have been testing it, then the next thing that I will check into is maybe the slugs that you are currently shooting out of that barrel. There could be a possibility that there's something wrong with the manufacturing process of that slugs, or maybe the lead mixture that the manufacturer used for that slugs. Now, if you have checked your speed, your barrel, and your slugs, and you can't see anything wrong with that, then the last thing that I will say is to clean out your barrel as well. Now remember, after you cleaned your barrel, before you want to check for accuracy again, make sure that you foul up that barrel completely. I will definitely advise shooting anything between 20 to 30 shots to make sure the barrel is nicely fouled up. Now, if you find that your barrel fouls up too quick, you can also check into lubing your slugs. That will help for that situation. 
So now that you have a gun that is shooting slugs, before I go, I need to at least tell you about the pros and cons of slugs. First of all, a con, slugs is barrel sensitive and they do require a certain gun setup. Pro, slugs have a superior knockdown power and definitely hits harder than pellets. Con, slugs is still a little bit more expensive over pellets in certain parts of the world. Slugs has a superior BC factor and can handle the wind much better than pellets. And with that being said, that's everything that I can tell you about slugs. I hope you guys enjoyed today's topic and I hope you guys could have learned something from this discussion today. I want to thank everybody that has been watching this video all the way to the end. It means a lot to me and please leave me a comment down below if there is some more questions. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Cheers.